Hello, Jessica Frost Ballas here with a video for Chibitronics. This is the start of a video series that will teach you a variety of circuits using Chibitronics LED stickers. This first video will take you through the basic Chibitronic supplies for paper crafters and will teach you how to build a simple circuit. As we progress through the series, you will learn different ways to create stunning, unique light up cards. So let's get started. In this video series, you will find a video for the actual creation of this light-up card using products from Lanfon, and I will link it above. We will use the same card design with different circuits so that you can see how to create totally different interactions with the same design. The first product I'm sharing is the Craft with Light Kits from Chibitronics. These are new products that are the perfect way to try out Chibitronics, and every card I share in this series can be created with the Craft with Light Kit. The kits are available in color or white. The color kit includes one LED sticker in red, yellow, blue, pink, orange, and green, two 3 volt coin batteries, and a 16 foot roll of fabric circuit tape. There's also a handy tape tag included so that you can keep the tape from unraveling when not in use. The white craft with light kit includes the same products but with six white LED stickers. Once you get comfortable with creating circuits, you can pick up one of our light sampler packs. They are available in this 30 LED sticker mega pack, which includes six white and four LED stickers of each color, a mega pack of just white LED stickers, the tropical mega pack that includes 10 orange, pink, and green LED stickers, or the color mega pack that includes 10 red, yellow, and blue stickers. We also carry conductive fabric tape patches that are handy for reinforcing the LED lights or patching a tear in fabric tape or copper tape. And our craft with light kits contain conductive fabric tape for lots of projects, but just in case you run out, you can buy rolls of tape individually. Now I'm gonna show you how to create a simple circuit. To create a simple circuit, we need to use our conductive fabric tape to connect a battery to the LED sticker in a loop. The positive side of the LED stickers needs to connect to the positive side of the battery, and the negative point of the sticker needs to connect to the negative side of the battery. This continuous loop is a simple circuit. First, place a strip of conductive tape onto a piece of cardstock. This will connect the negative side of the battery to the negative point of the sticker. Next, place another strip of conductive fabric tape onto the cardstock running parallel to the first piece. When I get to the battery, I trim off the backing paper that's already peeled off the tape, but I leave the rest behind so it doesn't stick to the cardstock before I'm ready to place my battery. This strip will connect the positive side of the battery to the positive side of the sticker. And I have a little tip for remembering which side of the sticker is positive and what side is negative. The negative part of the sticker is the sharp point and the positive part of the sticker is the long edge because we want more positivity in this world, not less. At this point, we're ready to place our sticker. Carefully peel the LED sticker off the backing paper and place it on the conductive fabric tape. Now it's time for the magic. Lift up the piece of tape that still has the backing paper on it and slide your battery underneath. Remove the backing tape and stick the tape to the positive side of the battery. And voila! You've just created your first simple circuit. You can see the loop you've just created by connecting the negative point of the LED sticker to the negative side of the battery and the positive side of the LED sticker to the positive side of the battery. All the circuits you'll create have the same basic premise, creating a continuous loop that connects the negative side of the battery to the negative point of the LED stickers and connecting the positive side of the battery to the positive sides of the LED stickers. But after that, the possibilities are endless. I like to reinforce my LED stickers and make sure that they won't shift in the mail or start to lose their stickiness over time due to humidity or temperature changes. So I take conductive fabric patches and simply tape over the edges of my sticker 
making sure to not cover up the light or accidentally cross the positive and negative lines. You can also use your leftover scraps of conductive fabric tape for this. To conserve your battery, you can simply peel off the top piece of tape and slide your battery out until it's ready to use. Later in the series, I'll show you how to create switches and battery holders to conserve or replace your batteries. Now it's time to show you how to implement the simple circuit with this card. Before I placed the fireflies onto the card, I punched tiny holes onto the background panel to show where my lights would be going. The lights are bright enough to shine through white cardstock on their own, but these holes let a little more light through and also help me with the placement of my LED stickers. Since the fireflies are now covering the holes, on a scrap piece of cardstock, I trace the same holes and punch them out to create a template. I'll be using this template throughout the series to show various circuits. So to start, I take an A2 panel of white cardstock, place it behind my template and trace the holes. These pencil dots tell me where my LED stickers will need to be placed. For this video, I will only be creating a simple circuit and lighting up the topmost firefly. One other product that Chibitronics carries is this craft stencil. It shows the outline of the LED sticker that you can trace onto your panel. It's not a necessary tool, but I do like using it for precise sticker placement. You center the dot in the middle of the stencil and then trace the shape of the sticker around it. As you can see here, the sides of the sticker are reversed from my first example. So the negative point is on the right side of the panel and the positive side is on the left side. Next, I lay my conductive fabric tape down. I start on the negative side and make sure the tape is covering the point that I traced. Then I add a second piece of tape that covers the positive side and continues down along the panel. I leave a little overhang with the adhesive backing still attached for my battery. Now it's time to add my LED sticker. I place the white LED sticker with the negative point on the right side of my panel and the positive side on the left. I use the trace lines and the traced hole as a guide for where to place my sticker. Then I slide my battery onto the panel so that the positive side is facing up. The negative side touches the top of the conductive fabric tape leading from the negative point of the LED sticker. When I'm making cards, I want to make sure the battery won't shift, so I add a little adhesive under the battery next to the conductive fabric tape. Don't add adhesive over the fabric tape or you may break the circuit. I adhere the battery to the panel and then remove the adhesive backing from the tape on the positive side. I adhere that to the positive side of the battery and my LED sticker lights up. As you can see, my light flickered a little bit which is usually an indication that I didn't fully stick it to the conductive tape. Like I mentioned earlier, adding conductive fabric patches or small strips of leftover fabric tape like I used here can help make sure you have a good connection and that the LED sticker won't shift or flicker. When I place my card panel over the circuit panel, you can see that the firefly is all lit up and glowing. Here's another look at that circuit loop. You can see where one piece of tape crosses the positive side of the LED sticker and the positive side of the battery, and the other piece of tape crosses the negative point of the LED sticker and goes under the battery so it touches the negative side of the battery. Finally, I've turned off my desk light here so you can really see that glow. And that's it for today. I hope I've made the simple circuit concept a little less intimidating, and I can't wait to share more with you soon. Be sure to subscribe to the Chibitronics YouTube channel and follow us on social media for lots of crafty inspiration. And stay tuned for more videos that will teach you how to create and use a parallel circuit, a blinking slide switch, a battery switcher holder, animating LED stickers, magnetic read switches, and more. Thanks so much for watching, have an amazing day, and happy crafting. Bye!